Hey, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagal Prajapati and in this session I will be talking about parameterize of notebook in Databricks. Okay, so before going to the video, I would like to introduce my channel which is Geek Coders and here you can find out multiple videos related to Spark, SQL, Azure, Python and so on. Okay, so if you go to this playlist option over here, then you can find out like I have created around uh, like multiple playlist okay so these is spark and interviews spark and sql interview series are the top most uh, uh, series okay i would like to recommend you that go and watch these two series if you are planning to become a data engineer or if you are preparing for interviews for the same role okay then you then you can see the snowflake tutorials also over here golang numpy pandas hackerang solution sql solution and so on okay so I will be talking more about this channel uh, after the video. So let me start to today, today's video. Okay, with the topic, how to parameterize the notebook. So see, if you are from uh, Python or you know Java or any other language background, then you, you, you are known that, you know, uh, we have we have a function. Okay, we create a function, and then with the help of that function, we we call it multiple times with the different parameters. Okay. So what do we do? We create a function and when we and then we create a multiple instance of that function. So for an example, if I use a Python language, then if I if I if I want to create a function, then I would like I would write here def of f u n c let's say and I will pass here two parameters like a comma b and then I will print here a summation of these two. And if I run and if I call this function f u n c with some parameters like one comma three, then it will print the summation of one comma three that is four. Okay, so what does it mean? I created a function, one function only, and then I am I am calling this function with a different parameters. Like if I pass here one comma five, then it will print six. If I pass here seven, sorry seven, then it will print eight. So what does it mean that I am creating only one function and I am calling it multiple times with a with the different values okay likewise this parameters parameterized notebook also work i will create one notebook okay and then i will use a, no, a one notebook with different values for an example you have you know 10 tables and you want to clean it or you want to load the data from you know from some staging layer like adls then what you will do you have two options over here first you will get 10 notebooks with multiple uh, data schema and all or else you create only one notebook with a dynamic schema or in a, in a dynamic way so that you know you will you will use that notebook with all the tables now. so what i will do here for that see i will remove this i will go to my this notebook table notebook i will create here a parameter so with uh, how do we do a, how do we create a parameter with the help of dbutils.widgets okay dot text i pass here table table and then i pass here blank default value and if i run this this is being created okay then if i want to retrieve the value then i will write here dbutils.widgets same change the widgets dot uh, get okay and then i will pass here the widget name that is table so if i pass over here then it will print me if i pass here a a is printed okay it, it is taking from this variable or not variable the parameter is variable okay not parameter is a parameter variable okay done so suppose this is this is the table where you have written uh, your uh, your uh, logic to load the table from the staging layer for an example okay and i am passing here table and suppose i create a new one more with the staging location okay and i'm passing giving here table 
and same thing I'm copying and pasting over here and copying this pasting over here and printing dot a table is okay something like this table is table and location is staging location okay something like this now this is the this is the notebook and this is the main function suppose so here what i will be writing i will be writing dbutils dot uh, runbook not runbook notebook dot run and here i am passing the path of the notebook so the path of the notebook is go to here copy file path and here i pass a zero parameter but there, there is one one mistake not mistake since i am using a since i am using a free version of databricks a community cloud version so i cannot use this thing okay i have to upgrade to the subscription so i will tell you the scheme uh, the you know the flow so the flow will like this here you have to pass a table and then pass a some value like a and then staging the same variable name you have to take it so if i if i go to this table notebook then you have to copy this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. table and then you have to write this and pass some value over here okay suppose something like uh, external okay since i'm using this version i cannot use it so what i will do i will use a percent run command percent run and then i will use the same thing over here then what i will use i will I will use here a dollar variable name a okay and then again dollar variable name is equal to external and I will press it see I get the output table is a location is external if I run the same thing it will throw another okay and this is the first way so now what you can do you can write a for loop also since this is a, a different language i cannot uh, write it down but if you are using a python then you can simply write for i in a range or something like that and then you can it then you can run this command multiple times or you know if if you want to then in a in a sequential manner then you can use a simple for i if you want to use a parallel way then you can use a multi setting concept or any other concept you can use it okay so this is the you know i just give you giving approach how can you achieve a parameterization of a notebook using databricks you can find multiple example over here in the net and in the blog and youtube and so on so that's it for today's video i hope you have liked it and you have enjoyed a lot and you got something new like you know you got something new to learn so that's it let's wind up